Um, today I'm going to go over the subtraction mental math strategies. The first ones I'm going to do are strategies one, two, and three. Okay? So, strategy one is subtracting the ones. So, if I have 256 minus 2, I would say, what are we subtracting? The hundreds, tens, or ones? If you look, we're subtracting the ones. 6 minus 2. I can do that without regrouping, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. 6 minus 2 is 4. So my difference is 254. Okay? Do one more. If I had 398 minus 6, I would say, what am I subtracting? The hundreds, tens, or ones? In this case, I'm subtracting the ones. Eight minus six. I can do it without regrouping, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Eight minus six is two. So my difference is 392. Okay, now I'm gonna do the next strategy, strategy number two. This one is subtracting the tens. With this, I would say, what are we subtracting? Hundreds, tens, or ones? Students will look and say we're subtracting the tens. And only the tens because the ones is a zero, so we really do not have to subtract that. So, subtracting the tens. Seven tens minus one ten, which is also the same as 70 minus 10. 70 minus 10 is 60. So my difference is 563. Okay, I'm going to do one more. If I had 999 minus 20. Again, I always start with asking, what are we subtracting, hundreds, tens, or ones? In this case, the tens again. And the middle nine is my tens column. So this is really 90 minus 20, which is 70. So my difference is 979. Okay, next we're gonna do strategy number three. Oops. Strategy number three is subtracting the hundreds. So, 526 minus 200. In this case, I would say, what am I subtracting? Hundreds, tens, or ones? In this case, I'm subtracting just the hundreds because there's nothing in the tens or the ones column. So, it would be that five stands for 500 minus 200. 500 minus 200 is 300, so the difference is 326. I'm going to do one more. If I had 629 minus 300, again, what am I subtracting? Hundreds, tens, or ones. In this case, just the hundreds. 600 minus 300 is 300, so my difference is 329. 